Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Someone had asked me a question about what the best type of lettering is for our cutter. The truth is you can use just about any letter, um, any font, because you can come in and actually clean it up. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick here. So let's just type it out and this is chalk hand lettering. Okay, and let's blow it up and as you see there's lots of little holes in that well we don't want our cutter to have to go through doing all of those holes because it does kind of wreak havoc on your cutter so let's come up here to path simplify first and take a look at it oh boy look 3252 nodes well if I simplify it it'll come out to 373 so let's go ahead and do that but after I click OK, I'm going to come back in here and actually click on it. Okay? Because if it distorts it when I click on it, that will show me, you know, how distorted it's going to be and if it's really bad, I just come up and click undo. So let's kind of keep coming through here and trying to bring it down as much as possible without distorting it too much. and this will help preserve your blade life because each of these little th nodes that we're deleting um, is less twists and turns that your blade has to make alright so there we go we've taken it from 3252 down to 275 nodes so that's a significant decrease alright so if you wanted to leave it just like this you can take your brush come in here and start filling these in filling these little holes in okay now you can do it like this without blowing it up or you can come in here and blow it up pretty big so that you can catch every tiny little detail and you don't miss anything Okay, so let me double check up here, make sure I got all of that up there. Now I'm going to come and grab this, it's a little quicker. And what I'm doing is I just click and press my left mouse key to get it to color in. And then we'll go through and, oops, join it all. So I'm going to go through and do all of this just like that, just like this, all right, and I'll be back. Okay, so it looks like I have pretty much filled in all of the little white gaps. I'm going to back this out and just take a look, double check and make sure. Yep, I have them all. But you see, there's kind of some things in this little little black spots that I'm not really liking so my next thing is I'm gonna grab the eraser alright and <coughs> excuse me right now I'm gonna keep the I'm going to keep the keep close paths checked for right now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change this to point zero five enter because I want this to be small because I'm going to come back in here because right now you can't really see a whole lot I'm going to bring it back up to the 300 and I'm going to come over here because I've seen a bunch of little things hanging around out here you see these little things we don't want those okay, try to get as close to that as you can okay so we're going to go around, I'm going to back this out a little bit, we're going to go around and we're going to start doing some erasing, but I'm not sure the closed path is what I want and I will tell you why, let's see here, let me get down here to the bottom, okay, right here, I want to knock this whole thing out, I think this will be okay though.
but we'll see. Okay, yep, it's going to be okay. So now I need to come in here and clean it up a little bit. So you can do this with fonts. You can do it with shapes. You can do it with whatever you want. Um, if you have something that you really like the way it looks, but it's, you know, kind of too holy for you or, you know, a little too messy, you can come in and clean it up. You can... Um, add nodes or modify the nodes but sometimes on fonts that's a little bit difficult to do um, sometimes it won't let you do that and you'll have to uh, sometimes save them as an SVG um, to be able to work with the nodes but sometimes it won't let you do it at all it's, it's kinda crazy but um, you can come in here and keep working, keep erasing um, until you get just what you want. Okay, you can also change it um, to a square um, if you have some uh, angles in that that you need to do, or if you want some straight lines um, that's hard to do with um, the circle eraser. Okay, um, but I just wanted to show you how you can go about turning. Let me decrease this a little bit turning that really sloppy um, holy font into a font that's going to cut all right cut nice and clean for you okay so let me grab this all right yep so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna select everything move this up a little bit all right we're gonna come up here to path and we're gonna click Union and that will melt all of that stuff together all of that um, paintbrush that we use to cover all the holes that will melt it all together so you don't have to worry about it alright so let's come up here to our preview and check just to make sure okay you see there's still a few holes here so you can go back in blow it up real big um, and just go in and take a real close look let's see um, down at the E down here we're gonna come in here and we are gonna bring this up and we're gonna take a really close look down at the bottom of the E because it looks like there's still something hanging around down there where's the E this is the E well I could see one right there and there's a little dot right there so even the smallest little things, you know, that, and this is just if you choose to use this type of thing and there's, you know, nothing else that you can find that you like and you want to clean this up. I am not seeing anything. So let's come in here, preview. So right here. We'll just go across all that even though we don't see it. Edit select all path union okay so it's unioned all together that little spot has disappeared so we'll go through here check preview that looks good let's move our preview screen out of the way that looks pretty good let's bring it up here preview that looks pretty good so just keep going through and you know doing this and see what you can come up with. Oops. All right. So there's one and then those two. Okay. So right around in here. Just go all over and then right around in here. Go all over. Let's do preview. Okay. I got those. So edit select all then your path to your union and then well it's not responding again alright let's come up here oh and they're all gone now okay so if you see you remember how those that look kind of blobby that's because I hadn't clicked union yet. Once you union them and melt them all together, that's it, that blob will disappear. So then click your union and there you go. So that's how you go about fixing some 
silly little letters. All right. If you guys have any other questions, just give me a holler over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scow Help. Thanks a lot, guys.